Hey guys, Rise here, bringing you another game of StarCraft II Beta with English commentary from, of course, your best friend, your neighborhood uh, friendly commentator, Rise. And uh, today we're going to be doing another game from the finals of QXC, <laughs> which, no, nah, it's not really the team. Uh, team Assembly Redialing facing off against Team EG in the finals of the Triple Team Strike Cup. And basically, oh, look at in control being nice already. <laughs> I wish you good tidings, my fair sir, and God bless. Look at him, what a gentleman. And Zelnik responding in kind, telling him he also wishes him the best. So anyway, obviously we got in control uh, representing Team EG at this game two, facing off against Zelnik. If you didn't watch the first game, go check it out. It's going to be uploaded before this anyway. And uh, obviously what happened was Zelnik all killed. Well, not all killed. Uh, he's going for an all kill. Um, and he beat Inca in the first match. So this is his second match. Of course, that means that this is the Winner's League format. So what is the Winner's League format, do you ask? Well, the Winner's League format means that the winner player stays on until he loses, basically. So... Zelnik could conceivably all kill the other team and that's what people live for in the winners league all kills It's it's quite clearly the coolest thing you can see in a uh, winners league format it's people like sky high and uh, light and Some other big names <laughs> I've gotten all kills in the past in the winners league. I'm just I'm thinking of like two seasons ago It's terrible I haven't watched StarCraft 1 in forever. And, you know, it, it's always a lot of fun to watch because, you know, you see these players go on rolls and you're like, man, can he really beat every player on the other team? And it says a lot about that player if he can do so. Now, let's talk about the all kills that we've seen so far. Well, QXC has gone through two all kills already, beating one of Team EG's other team, which I would suppose we'd call the B team in this runaround anyway. And, um, you know, at this point, and then he beat uh, the other team, Team Root Gaming, in the semifinals, so he, he all killed in the quarters and the semis. They decided to switch their opening player in this game in the finals to Zelnik, and he is doing a great job so far of winning some games. He's on game two, of course. This is a best of seven, and he's facing off once again against In Control. You know him, you love him. You've heard him in our commentary of Mojo Jojo versus Al Mojo, clearly the best game of all time. And uh, now he's actually gonna face off and show you that he's one of the best players out there, I hope. <laughs> So, uh, all right, Zelnik opening with a pool first, and it looks like he's not going to go first hat. Oh, in control block in the hatchery. Beautifully done. That's going to delay things a little bit for Zelnik. Looks like that probe's going to be taken down. Zelnik not with quite a, uh, the amount of minerals that he needs at this point. It looks like he's trying to get his supply cap gone, makes it overlord first, and he's not going for that expansion right away. Wow. Wow, what does this mean? He's got 18 food count. He's got a queen out on the field. He's sticking to one base and uh, in control. I gotta say, he's in a pretty good spot right here. He's got a, a nice little wall off on this ramp. Should be able to block four uh, Zerglings. Oh, actually, that's six Zerglings. Should be able to block this by the time that the next Zealot gets out. Although, is, does he have any more Chrono Boost? He does, although he's not Chrono Boosting the Gateway. He is, uh, in fact, using it on the Nexus to make more probes faster. But he does get that Zealot out. That second Zealot comes out, and now he's looking to make a Sentry. Looks like he's going to be able to block that ramp. No problem. Zergling's not going to be able to push it any further. And at this point, Zelnik does in fact decide to get his hatchery after the stall that we saw put on him by in control with only a probe man that's frustrating as a zerg player i know because i am a zerg player factoid for you guys so uh all right let's see we got a robotics facility coming in for in control now that was scouted by zelnik you see that he sees that's coming in and uh, of course that means that he can prepare accordingly now we only we might only see a uh, observer. We may see immortals pop out. We may see him go directly for Colossi, but it, it, only time will tell. And uh, in control, very excited to see what he decides to go. Looks like warp gate warp gate tech is now warping, and he's going to get a second gateway up so he can start spamming the units as soon as uh, that warp gate tech is done. So it looks like he's actually waiting for that to happen. Uh, before he builds any more units out of the gateway. He's getting even a third gateway up and running. Some dots coming from him. That's a, uh, what is that called? That's called an echelon, those three dots, I believe. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. I, I remember that from 10th grade English class. I was in honors English. Ha! Ah, I guess that's appropriate, right? I'm a commentator now. I should have been good at English. <laughs> we hope. So anyway, it looks like we got four gateways going down, and a, where'd the robo go? No way! He canceled the robotics facility, switching up the game plan. I like this move. Let's go check out what uh, you know he thinks he saw. He thought he saw a robotics facility coming in, and now 
He's going to see four gateways uh, eventually if he decides to sack an overlord for the scout. And that is going to be big. If in control can pull this off, you know, he's going to put himself in a great position, obviously, uh, to win the game. This this isn't necessarily all in. It could be considered all in, especially if he got a fifth gateway. But right now, with the four warp gates, he can conceivably transition into another build. Uh, dangerously close to getting pylon block. Looks like he's going to be okay. Um... Although I guess technically he is pylon block since uh, he, he wasn't maximizing his warp ins. Looks like in control, gonna just clear out the uh, Zelnagas, make sure that no scouting can be had by Zelnik. And I'm, uh, I'm actually expecting a forward pylon coming out for in control, but instead he might just mass up the sentries right now, wait for, for, wait for those before he decides to push in. Now the thing about this map is, of course, as a uh, Protoss player, you put yourself in a great position if you use sentry play on this map. Why? Well, look at this ramp. It's not a big ramp. Hey, I'm slowing down the game! <laughs> That's awesome! Um, it looks like... Uh, I, I, what was I going to say? I got confused. I was slowing down the game. N apparently my brain slowed at the same time. Basically what you can do is only one force field is required to block the units on that ramp. So basically the Zerg player has to keep all of his units down here. But at the same time that means that he has to commit all of his units. He can't use the ridge to his advantage. And so the, the Protoss player can come around the side uh, once he force fields that off. Or he can go straight in. There's only one spine crawler now. It looks like another two are morphing. Oh, no, I'm sorry, that was a queen. I thought under him was another spine crawl. So he's got two spine crawlers out on the field. And uh, he's going to move that one up. Hence the name spine crawler. And yeah, there's that forward pylon I was talking about. And in control. Wow, look at this force that he's got. He's got 70 food count against 60. Force fields the ramp as expected. Pops up a guardian shield on top of it all. Able to take down one... Two spine crawlers, Hydra's running around the back of the base, and Zelnik is in a lot of trouble. Reinforcing the force field over here, beautifully done. Curious if he'll go for another Guardian Shield. He does indeed decide to do that, not wasting him at all. You can see that he only does one at a time. Throwing down another force field to block the units trying to run away. These Zealots being really effective. Looks like he's going to be able to take down this base and potentially this game. I don't see Zelnik coming back from this. He did not see it coming. And GG coming from Zelnik. Wow, in control. Proving that he is, in fact, in control of this match. GG.